Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and video 7 on Courseplay. I think it's 7, might be 8. Anyway, we're going to look at some grasswork stuff today. This is going to be a two-part video. Uh, today, going to cover mowing grass with Courseplay and then uh, tedding for hay and then windrowing and baling for either hay or silage. We'll be looking at square bale silage and wrapping those as well with Courseplay. Uh, before we get stuck into all of that, if you're new to the channel and you're not already, please click subscribe, turn on notifications. We are 40 something subscribers away from a thousand subs. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please click on subscribe because that will really help me out. The channel has grown stupidly in the last three weeks or so. So the more the better. So jumping in the big M, uh, we are going to go to the worker tab and create job sorry the cursor position is still being weird we're going to select course play field work as normal the target position by default is over the vehicle on here on the field so we're good there going to stick a couple of headlands on and starting on headland and that's pretty much it close the generator and uh, hit start job and we will be good to go uh, I'm still finding that if you switch the units to miles per hour, uh, implement widths are off. Um, I'm using 7.0.0.16, I think, to record this. Uh, 17 is out now, and that does have some changes in it. So just letting Courseplay run the mower around here. Um, you know what this looks like, hopefully. Uh, this is just kind of to wrap up all in one place how you could do a field of grass work with uh, course play and this is using the custom field that I covered in my custom fields video so kind of doubling up there on showing you some different things uh, jumping in to the little riggy track which is such a cool little tractor with the tether um, how this thing runs this I have no idea and again it's just a case of starting another course play job um, and running it as standard so we'll pick a spot in the field to get started select first waypoint as usual open the course generator uh, give it a couple of headlands and then we will uh, set it going it's when we get into the uh, the windrowing and the bailing that things are slightly different um, this is pretty much just basic course play the bit I'm going to cover in the second video on this is trying to look at using loading wagons because someone said that they are struggling to use those in the comments so haven't had a look at them yet but I will I suspect we can do something like we did with the bail collecting video and uh, put an implement on the front to trick courseplay into thinking that it's doing something else so courseplay still has or this version of courseplay still had the funny where it would fold the implement again to uh, drive over to the start point but that's the riggy track off doing the tedding so it won't take us very long to get this done obviously if you had a bigger field you could maybe have multiple jobs running at once once the first tractor got far enough ahead big fields is where course play really comes into its own so i'm just using a small field to get it done quickly so you can see all of the steps so there has been a new feature added and I should have brought a video out on it as well for a new HUD, a mini HUD for Courseplay. It's not like the old Courseplay HUD, but it does bring in some quite cool features, particularly around implement width and starting workers off. So into the tether, this is where I do things slightly differently. So we'll set a point in the field, um, set first waypoint, and then we're gonna go into course generation. Uh, we'll give it a couple of headlands and the bit that I do differently is I start on the center. The reason I do that is two reasons I do that. The first one is the end product it looks nicer because it does the up down rows and then it does headlands and you get quite neat, quite a neat end result. Um, the other reason is I think you end up with less bales on the headland getting in the way when you're doing the up down rows. You will get some bales on the headland inevitably, but you won't have as many as if you did the headland first. So that's why I do it that way. And we're just going to drive down to the start point and then where course play has been updated it's now control and H to start a course play worker uh, rather than just H, just H starts the base game worker so if you wanted to use a base game worker you still can. Uh, once this is going we then need to save the course. So we'll go into here and we will click on save course. 
and give it a name. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to load this course into the tractor that's running the baler then, so it can follow the same route and pick all the grass up. Again, I don't know why the cursor is offset when I record this stuff, but it's quite frustrating for me. But you know, hopefully the commentary and watching the screen gets that covered. Um, so the wind row has done the up down rows and is now doing the headlands and as, as I said you get quite a neat result doing the headlands second because it tidies up all the uh, the messy bits which I quite like so we'll uh, we jump in the riggy track to start and load we load the course up the riggy track struggles to run this baler so I have to switch the tractors but you get the idea of getting things started hopefully um, so we're going to drive over to where we know the start of the course is and uh, We'll then load the course up that we just used to do the wind rowing and we can set this off bailing. So if we just open up the escape menu and uh, load course and select the wind rowing course that we used, uh, that looks like it's loaded up. So we just do a control H and it will start off from the start point. Uh, if you bring the HUD up that's built in now, you can choose whether you start from the nearest point or the first point when you're doing that. And you can see this is where the course play is. I don't think it's course play, I think it's the tractor baler combination with course play is struggling. So we're going to switch over and jump in the little massive 5S that I was using. And it's a shame because I really like that little tractor, but it's just not up to the job of running the baler. And uh, I didn't have a save at the right point to jump back, so we've jumped in the Massey now. Um, I've done the same thing, I've loaded the course, I've driven to the start point and I've hit Control H, and it's now just going to run around and bail the field. Um, you'll see that it, although it's a round baler, it will stop at the right points to empty the baler and it doesn't leave any bits behind. It's really good like that. Um, they've really got course plate and bailing down pretty well, in my view. Um, so it will speed up in a second and you'll see it start to drop bales and uh, it works really well with a round baler. There you go, first bale out and you see it stops, unloads and then starts up again and doesn't leave a little patch like I would if I was using a round baler because I'm not very good at using round balers. And you can see we are getting some bales on the headland but not that many and that one's not actually in the way. Um, then if you wanted to collect these with an auto loading trailer you could go and watch my video on bale collecting but you basically load this course in again um, and you'll see how to set it up when we get on to wrapping the square bales for silage which is going to come up next so you can see we just got stuck there um you're just going to have to kind of keep an eye on it while it's doing this um or accept that if you just leave it to work on its own it might get stuck but maybe you could do the bale collecting while it wrap it while it bales for you yeah. Job done. So we've got the uh, the class quarter and square baler now on a nice big class tractor, and we've uh, reloaded. Uh, I've recut the grass, retaked the grass using the same courses. Um, so we're going to load up that course again for the tether and uh, run the baler through, and then we're going to run the wrapper over it. Um, I like square silage bales, but I hate bale wrapping because it's so slow and painful. But this way makes it easier. It's not perfect. Um, once they implement the the bale collecting wrapping feature that was in the later, very latest versions of FS19's course play, it will be better. But this is a solution, particularly a solution until we get Follow Me. Follow Me is very good at doing this as well. Um, I don't know if Follow Me is being worked on, but if it is then follow me is another good way of doing square bales for silage if you're doing hay it's fine you can just leave the baler to run so i was quite worried about whether this big tractor and baler combo would be able to make this first tight turn but of course play does it just fine um, and they are constantly improving the uh the driving calculations and field calculations and stuff so considering this is still in beta this is really good I think I am I'm so glad they've brought this out because I'm playing privately on uh, Yukon River Valley and making some huge fields and of course play is really helping with that uh, as you can see we're about to spit out our first bale quite a way through the, through the field because it's not a huge field and um, I have got it on the smallest square bale size so we get more bales um, and you will see that we start to drop some on the headland which is gonna make it interesting for the bale wrapper um, and the way we're going to do the bale wrapper 
the course play isn't going to know it's bail wrapping so it's not going to know to stop um, so we're loading up the windrow in course we've got the bail wrap on the back and we've got the smallest windrow in the base game on the front uh, and then we put in a horizontal offset of about minus three meters seems to work for bail collecting so this is me actually testing this for the first time live uh, well live when i was recording the game footage um, so i'm going to drive round to the bit of the course that has bales there's no point in us doing this bit um because it's just going to drive up and down so we'll just spin round and get on this row where the first bale came out and then uh, hit control h and then it should think that it's wind rowing with a three meter offset which just happens to be about right we could probably do it being slightly less but it's about right for the bale wrapper to pick up the bale of grass and wrap it um, I was a bit worried about this one just in front of us um, but course play actually might turns just before so that's quite cool um, remember at the moment this is the beta and it's not designed to do bail wrapping it's designed at the moment just to do field work so this is tricking course play into thinking it's doing field work whilst it's actually wrapping our silage bales for us um, so it's not going to be perfect we do miss some and we do get stuck on some um, particularly the ones that are on the headlands um, so you see here we sort of get stuck and uh, you just got to jump in and take over and stop it um, sometimes the uh, the wind rower barges them out of the way i just knock the offset down a bit i think to about two and a half meters but you can see here we pick up one but it gets itself out of the way and again here we do pick up a whole load of stray bales but eventually it works itself out and for me you know the fact that this is wrapping most of the bales means that this is going to make square bale silage a lot easier uh, so I think I had to jump in and wrap about four bales there. Uh, just the uh, last one, we're just going to do the uh, the fast bale. So seeing it with round bales, I remode the field with the big M on swathing mode, and that's ended up with a slightly different course. But same thing, load the course up, set it going uh, with Control H, and it will do your square bale, your round bale silage for you, no problem with the fast bale. Um, I know it looked like it was going down the headland there. It was just the route it took to get to the next up down row so this will just run through now and make all the bales for you it might get stuck on the headlands where it drops some bales on the headlands on the up down rows again you just got to keep an eye on it um, if you're bale collecting at the same time this becomes a very smooth process and uh, obviously becomes a lot quicker so just gonna say thanks for watching folks i hope you found this useful if you did drop me a comment below or think about clicking on like if you're not already i'm going to ask again please subscribe because that really helps me out and uh, if you have queries or questions or ideas about future videos drop them in the comments and uh, i'll maybe have a look at them i'll just let this run out to the end now um, although we get kind of nastily stuck here so yeah have to do a bit of work to get unstuck uh, but i'm just going to leave this to play now because it's just a bailer running doing bailing and uh, i'll catch you next time on fs22